I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a curling iron. The reason I have the bottom section of my hair done is because I was working on a video and halfway through the bottom section I threw my comb across the room. So I'm just going to leave that how it is and then show you the rest of how to curl your hair. So I've divided it up into a few sections just to get it out of the way. Um, you'll curl the bottom section of your hair the same exact way you'll curl the rest of it, so you'll get the concept. Um, I'm going to let down this other section of the hair that I have here. Make sure as you're curling that you comb through each section before you put it into the curling iron. So I'm going to start with a section about this large around my face. Put the curling iron in at my scalp, twist it, and slowly feed the rest of the hair in as I work my way down. Depending on how resistant your hair is to curl or how easy it takes to curl, um, you'll leave the curling iron in your hair for varying lengths of time. I'm using a hot tool curling iron and I have it on number seven, which is the lowest number in the extra hot setting. So my hair curls pretty easily, but I like it to curl somewhat quickly, so I don't have to stand here all day and hold the curling iron. You can see as I'm working my way around, I'm just grabbing similar size sections and leaving the very ends of your hair out. They never get kind of wrapped in the curling iron. You can see that example there of how it stays straight. The back of your head is going to get a little bit difficult. so. My advice to you would be to grab a section that's maybe just a little bit smaller than the sections that you're working on around the side of your head. So this one's a little bit thinner and hold on to it a little longer. So I've still got it in my hand. I'm going to kind of pull the hair down instead of being able to watch it fall from the front and make sure that those ends are sticking out back there. Sometimes the hair is a little bit more resistant to curl in the back, especially if you have a partial or a three-quarter highlight. Having color in your hair kind of helps it helps give it a little bit of texture, so it might curl a little bit easily in that case. So I've got that side done. I'm going to do a back section again that's a little bit smaller than the sections you were taking around your face. And same idea. Keep an eye on it and hold on to it and kind of pull it down toward the base of your curling iron and make sure you leave your ends out. And then you'll drop it down. And now I've gotten around to the front and since this section is a little bit too large to do in just one, I'm going to do a kind of thin section right behind it and then do a normal size section in front. So you put it in at your root, slowly work your hair down, and leave out about that much in the curling iron. There are a million hairstyles you can do with curled hair, and I've given you some examples of a few options, but it's just nice to have kind of a looser style in there, and it gives you more opportunity to do a low ponytail that doesn't look like just a messy bun, kind of looks a little bit more stylish. So, The right side of your head also will go away from your face just like the left side did. But you see I'm going over my head to hold on to the curling iron to make sure I'm twisting it back. Let that go. So at this point I would recommend kind of doing a double check and making sure you got every hair back there. And it looks like I dropped a little bit of a hair right there, so I'm going to grab that, hang on to it, turn back around, and this is going to be mostly just feeling and making sure about the whole twist in there. While you're holding the curling iron at the back of your head, you can also double check and make sure you haven't curled it too much. So I've got these sections, I'm going to leave them there, don't comb them out, we're going to wait until the very end to do that. What I do is kind of divide this section here in half. So I'm going to keep this out of the way. And then we'll do the crown area and then work our way around to the face. So I've got this section up top here. I'm going to do 
one on the right side. Again, you always want to comb it out before you curl it. Same concept, put it in at your root, and then slowly twist it out. And you'll drop it once you feel like you've got enough of a curl. If you want a really, really loose wave, you can either bump the heat setting down in your curling iron to something lower, or you can just not hold it in as long. So at this point back here, I'm going to reserve that section for the left and do a center curl as vertically as I can. So you'll put the curling iron in at the top and kind of hold it as if you wanted it to meet up with your nose. And check on it as you're twisting and as far as you can reach back there, um, hold it as straight as you can and then drop it down. That'll prevent you from having a part in the back of your hair and having your curls separate and go from one way to the other. So then I'll do my last curl at the crown. Kind of pull it this direction. And hold it in there. The curling iron that I'm using is a Hot Tools iron. I've had it for years. They last forever. Um, it's, in fact, the only curling iron I've ever used professionally, and I've never had a single problem. Um, so, it's what I would recommend. So then you want to take your very last section, and wherever you're parting, section that off. I like to do this top section kind of in a larger, wider space, and just kind of stretch it in there. And this is partially to prevent me from looking like Curly Sue and having all these little tiny curls coming out of the part. Um, and just to continue with the soft, loose curl. And on this side, since that's a little bit too large, we're going to divide that in two. I've styled my bangs already, just so I don't have to worry about those. Um, and those I used a flat iron and just pull them straight down with the flat iron and once they cooled I just kind of brush them to the side. I've got a little bit of Kenra hairspray in them um, and I'll show you kind of how to finish the look with that. So we've got one more curl. Make sure you grab all of it. This is a perfect example of twisting as you go and slowly feeding the rest of the hair in, and then you can see in the back those little pieces are still sticking out. Okay, so we're all curled. Let that one cool for a minute. Letting your hair cool, it will style a million times better because it's kind of like if you were to brush hot rollers out right away, all of the heat is still in there, so it's kind of going to pull it straight. So, you'll kind of go through after it's cooled your fingers and sort of just break up the curls a little bit. You don't want to completely comb them out to where there's just kind of brushed out curls, but just enough to separate them a little bit, but still kind of make them look like they all go together. And kind of throw your fingers in there and scrunch as if you had wet curly hair, and that'll kind of scrunch them back up for you. So now we'll go around and check the back. Same idea as the front of your hair. Just want to go through and I'm kind of loosely raking my fingers through it just to kind of break it up a little bit. And check this side. That's all looking good. So then at this point you want to put a little bit of hairspray in your hair. Just a little because you want them to kind of melt together in a way, not become uncurled, but sort of fit in and relax a little bit. So, just a light mist, I would say, all over to keep them from, I'm sure you've seen the curls that all kind of morph into one curl, and usually that's right around the face, and they've all kind of worked their way together. It's not what we're going for. So a little bit of hairspray on them, and having gone through and separated them with your fingers, We'll keep them from all kind of melting together. So back here, we'll do the same thing because those have kind of found their home. And there we go. 
So you've got your nicely curled hair. I'll do kind of a slow-mo all around so you can see what we did. And you can see by leaving the ends out, it doesn't look like you just rejected a part of the curl. It just makes it look a little bit softer and more of a cascading curl. So good luck. I really hope it works for you. And please let me know if you have any questions.